So this is a detailed video of the resistor bank that I made for the eye charger. Um, so this is for uh, an X6, or, um, so single port uh, inline resistor bank. So the main components are obviously the resistors. Um, these are 100 watt, one ohm resistors. You can see that pretty good. Um, that's just some um, 100 gauge wire. Uh, so it's just a copper wire. And the wire itself pretty much feeds into the hole of the resistor. There's nothing really magical about wiring this thing up. And then you'll see it here. So that's the, the bank wired up. Not necessarily a positive and negative when it comes to the resistor bank. Um, it's more in how you set the you you wire it to suit whatever you're you're trying to need. Uh, in terms of wiring, mainly for uh, an X6, a single port, um, what we're going to do is we have our we have our battery and our charger. And our negative will just go from the battery to the charger. So using XT90 and the charger is XT60. So that's that's what we do on the negative. And then what we do with the positive is we break the positive through the resistor bank. So we run positive wire from that end and then a positive eye from that end. So pretty much that's the that's the circuit. So as we plug the battery in with the eye charger, the circuit will go through the resistor bank. So as the current draws through the resistor bank, that's what draws the power down. Another simple method um, without using a charger is basically plugging it straight in. So you'd have your positive and your negative straight in and plug that guy in and it'll start drawing power. So that'll make the circuit and it'll start drawing power. What you'd want to do is then get a little um, uh, meter on the, on the balance plug that'll tell you when you're at whatever voltage and then basically pull it apart. So there's no control on what's happening when you wire it like this, but it will draw the, the amps from the, um, the voltage from the battery. So here we'll have a look at the, the charger that I've done. You can see the wires just soldered through the resistors. And we have the positive. All, so basically it comes through here, all flows through the resistor bank, and then goes through here to the XT60, which goes into the charger. Now this lead is only for the fans, the 12 volt fans. So I plug that into the power supply and I've got fans. So that's all they do. They're just to, to cool this resistor bank. Now, so if I plug the battery in, I haven't completed a circuit. So it's not actually gonna do anything. So the battery is still just sitting there doing nothing. What we'll do is we'll hook it up to the eye charger and we'll show how it discharges. Now the first trick to discharging with these power banks uh, is actually setting up the the program or the profile. So I've got a number of profiles here. I've got a 30 amp profile. I'm going to hold it, go into edit, and I'm going to my discharge settings. So discharge, uh, set my discharge current. So I'm going to aim for, for 30. Uh, what I'm going to discharge down to. So this is not storage, this is discharging. So I'm going to basically dump the battery as hard as I can. Uh, regenerative mode off. And if I go into advanced, I'm going to have extra discharge enable. So this is going to make the charger pull more uh, as it's expecting to have a 
some form of bank or some form of resistance to to pull that extra charge so the, normally these things will discharge at two something amps with the resistor banks it'll get up to close to 30. All right, so now my discharge is, is set to extra discharge uh, and there we go so plugging it all in basically I plug the battery in like so nothing special uh, we run our balance lead so that's the battery and balance plugged our discharger into the port so now we have our positive going through the discharger all the way through each of the resistors uh, and then into the eye charger and then back into the battery so that's the that's the main circuit all right and the other thing is these things will will start to get warm so i run a little 12 volt fan so whatever you can to keep it cool so now it's cooling right so give you a bit of an idea what, what happens to these guys um, let's see where it's at now Twenty six degrees. All right. So now we've got our battery plugged in through the circuit. I'm going to pick my thirty amp profile. Uh, go to discharge and we'll watch the the amps up the top here. Twenty seven amps. Twenty six. So now that's pulling. You can see the, you know, the amps will slowly drop. And that's a lot to do with the temperature of the, the resistors. So now if I look at my resistors. So these things are just going to keep heating and those um, that amperage is going to drop. So that's kind of the key to this is to try and get some good cooling. Uh, the cooler it is, the efficient they are, because pretty much all these things is doing is producing heat. That's what's that's what's discharging the battery. Um, so the cooler you keep them, the more efficient they'll work, the higher amps you'll be able to draw. So that, once this really gets up to about 60, 70 degrees, those, uh, those amps will drop down to 20. So adding more resistors will help that because you're spreading the load of the, the power uh, across more, more resistors. So you'll, they all won't heat as much uh, and that'll allow you to keep up more amps. find another warm spot but yeah that's that's pretty much it um, the main thing is what we get out of this is we we help pull down our IR on the battery so once we cycle this battery we charge it we discharge it it'll, it'll help with the resistance of the battery as well so a little bit of heat to the battery, uh, some internal heat while this, this process is going, uh, we can improve our IR. So this battery has just come off storage. Uh, as we charge and discharge it, we'll get that quite low. But now you see the temperature, we're sitting at 60, 60 something degrees. So she, she'll get warm. So yeah, so that's the process, I uh, hope it helps.